sin separates. But let me tell you what is more profound to me in this message that I want to share with you. Is that God does not label people. People label people. And we put labels on people for our comfort. And for our best effect to deal with one another. So I came to tell you today that God does away with labels. These ten lepers, and lepers by the law of God, were to be isolated or in quarantine because of the conditions of that disease. It could be, in their understanding, contagious. So in the book, in the early books of the Bible, Leviticus, it said if a man was found with a boil, or a running sore, then they had to be separated for at least seven days for it to dry up. And then he had to present himself back to the priest for the priest to make a determination as to whether they need to be isolated in a burden. And if the priest found after seven days that the issue was still running or still was, uh, had a pulse, then they had to go into isolation another seven days. That was the law of God. So, Therefore, we find that these lepers were quarantined because of the law, or the understanding of the law. And they, too, had to, had to address the law for themselves. It was their responsibility, if they saw someone coming, to distance themselves so, by law, they would isolate themselves. So these ten lepers found comfort in being in a group with one another. But they were labeled lepers. Let me tell you about labels. Here we are in this political government, this, this politics that's going on right now. And the greatest concern by many are some on the far right who call themselves conservatives. And they say to themselves, even they try to influence others to vote for them by saying he's far, he's not conservative enough. Well, what is a conservative? And if you listen to the definition of what they call a conservative, then I guess I'm a conservative. But when I tell them I'm a conservative, they say, well, you're a social conservative. They're all putting a label on one or the other. It's got to the point that you call a liberal is almost a cuss word. Where you say he's a liberal, that means that you intend to say he'll go along with anything and accept anything. Well, you know, I don't know about you, but I'm a conservative by all rights of how you describe a conservative. So, but I still can't be labeled a conservative because I don't vote conservative. I vote liberal. Well, the label itself will have you identifying me as one thing or the other. Therefore, God doesn't really deal with labels. Let me tell you what God deals with. God deals with the heart. In the early years of, the, of this country, and some of you may know this story. I've seen this issue. And they made a movie about it called Amistad. And they did everything they could to get these slaves who had committed this, this sin or this violation on a ship where they killed those who had them in bondage. And the determination had to be made about these slaves as to whether they were to be kept in slavery or not or whether they should be sent back to their homeland. So the, the people who thought that they would find a judge who would go along with what they had decided about it, because they had several trials and couldn't find anybody to find evidence enough to convict them or to keep them from being sent back. So they went and found a judge. First of all, they say he's a Catholic. So therefore, he's going to be conservative. He's going to vote with us. And they say, well, secondly, he's ambitious. So therefore, he won't make any decisions that will be controversial. So they had labeled this man to make a decision they thought, because of his label, would be in their interest. But what they didn't know was that he was a praying man. So before he made his decision, he went into private prayer and sought the face of God concerning this particular issue. And to those who thought they had him on their side, to their surprise, he voted in favor of the Africans being free to go back to their homeland. We have to be careful with labels. Because sometimes labels can put a person in a box. And how many of y'all know God's not in a box? Amen. Amen. We try to box God in with a label of denomination. 
I grew up in the Baptist church. My preacher in that church was a staunch Baptist. Everything Baptist. They had taught us that Methodists weren't saved because they hadn't been taken underwater. They had labeled the Methodists as being unsaved because they sprinkled and they hadn't been baptized. Well, if you teach the idea that you haven't been baptized, you can't be saved. We had labeled Methodists. Oh, uh -huh, y'all got to hear what I'm saying. Now. We got folk who are labeled themselves Jesus only. They say if you haven't gone in the formula of by the name of Jesus in your immersion, then you haven't been baptized. How many of y'all know God doesn't put labels on? But we label each other for our own comfort because it makes us feel comfortable by what we say we believe and what we say we think. But in our labeling, we sometimes separate the weak from the tag. Jesus has said to us, don't worry about trying to separate the weak from the tag because there's going to be a separation that's going to be, when I do it, it's going to be right. The one thing we can't do is label one another. Because we can't, we label because we can't really judge one another. That's why the Bible says, don't judge. There are religious labels. Oh, y'all know that, don't you? Mm -hmm. Some folk, because they label themselves on a certain religion, they've been so religious, they are actually no good to the kingdom. Amen. You can be religious and still not be saved. Amen. You can have your name on a church roll and still not be in the kingdom. Because you've been labeled religiously, you think you got something you really don't have. Therefore, we have to be careful about how we label one another. We label, we call folk harlots. That in the Bible, we have a woman who was called a harlot. Well, we know what a harlot is. If you got the label of a harlot, that means you were a prostitute. And therefore, since she was a prostitute, she was in isolation, all right? People had labeled her. But let me tell y'all something. It was a harlot in Sodom and Gomorrah. Amen. Amen. There was a man in Sodom and Gomorrah named, named who, 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 was, who was saved because he was labeled one thing. They called, they called Lot. They labeled Lot. But God saved Lot out of Sodom and Gomorrah. Amen. The woman who was a harlot was in Jericho. And she was labeled to be a harlot. But yet she saved the spies of Israel. Amen. And out of her came forth a lineage of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We have to be careful how we label folk. Now, not only will we be careful how we label people, you ought to be careful how you let folk label you. Right. Amen? Amen? Don't let anybody call you something that you're not. Amen. Because if you're not careful about that label, people then take you by that label. And, and govern them, and their decisions are all made according to what they call you, and you're really not that. So we find in that in these political labels and the religious labels, we also have gender, gender labels. You, we, because you're a woman, there are certain things you ought not all do. I'm here today to tell you that when God calls you to do a job, don't let any label stop you from doing what God calls you to do. You know, I would do it, but I'm a, I'm a woman. If God told you to do it, you do it. Daughter of Art said, I'll do it because God called me to do it. And she led the people, and they had victory. Don't let anybody label you. And don't, let, and don't you be responsible or guilty of labeling others. Yeah. Labels comfort us. These men who were lepers had to keep a certain distance because they were called lepers. But when they cried out to Jesus, said, Master, have pity on us. I want to try to know that Jesus then told them to go see the priests, which was a part of the, of the Jewish tradition of, of being free from that disease. The Bible says that while they were on their way, 